Good morning. We are all packed and ready to go for Palm Springs. I have my makeup in here, toiletries in here. I just threw my shoes in whatever shopping bag I had, this Chanel one. Um, and then all of my clothing is in this keep all. I've got Butter's crate. I've got water, <laughs> Butter's blankie, her cushy bed here. And I just have to finish packing up my like computer and work stuff. Oh, and then some of my workout stuff. <laughs> I'm bringing a lot of stuff for just a few days. Um, but yeah, we're almost ready to go. Butters is still upstairs sleeping. I don't want to wake her until the last minute. So I'm trying to decide whether I feed Butters now, which is a little bit early, or I feed her on the road when we charge up, which is then maybe a little bit late. But anyway, I'm going to finish packing and then get on the road. All right, Butters, you ready? Butters, we're just going to look out the window. Hi, baby. You ready? Huh? You ready for some Palm Springs action? Okay. Let's hit the road. So we've made it to Eddie World. This is basically halfway between Vegas and Palm Springs. And so Butters and I are charging up the car. We're just sitting here. It's gonna take an hour. I didn't realize, I thought it was a half hour. It's an hour, but that's okay. We have entertainment on the car. We've got uh, YouTube up, so we're gonna watch some YouTube. I'm going to eat a protein bar because I'm starving. Butters seems to be doing pretty well. Every time I put on the blinker though, she whines a little bit, so. I don't know what the deal is, but once I'm done with my bar, I'm gonna take her for a little walk, see if she needs to relieve herself, give her some water. She seems to be doing okay. It's funny, sometimes she just is totally fine in the car and sometimes she's like on high alert. And today she's on high alert. I guess she knows we're doing something different, but she won't like lay down. Like she's just sitting up, you know, with like a paw kind of like holding her up and her eyes are like closing, but she won't relax. That's okay. That means she'll just pass out tonight. So all these cars just sitting here <laughs> charging up. <laughs> I'm going to uh, finish eating, walk the pup, walk the puppy, make our way to Palm Springs. Okay, we made it. Hi, Butters. Hi. <laughs> so happy to be out of that car, huh? Huh? Here's Julie. We're trying to figure out what's wrong with the dishwasher. There's nothing wrong it's, with the dishwasher. It's something wrong with the dishwasher operator. Oh. <laughs> User error? Is that, Absolutely. <laughs> is that the problem? Okay. Butters, come here. Come here, baby. Look at this backyard. Look at that. I wish you liked swimming. Hmm? I wish you liked swimming. The outside door is open. Once we close that, we'll go out, okay? All right? Look at this, so spacious. So spacious, look at where you can run around, Butters. Hmm? Just no peeing on the rugs, okay? Come here, let me show you your wee-wee pad. Come here, baby. Come here. Let's go back to our part of the house, over here. We've got our own little kitchenette. Butters, come here. Okay, what's this? We've got, yes, come here. We've got a wee wee pad. We've got a wee wee pad. What is this? I should probably pick that up so she doesn't confuse. All right, you want your peanut butter, girl? All right. Oh, it's so nice to have arrived. I was starting to just get like a really sore. My hips were getting really sore in the car. The weather is lovely. Oh my gosh, I just noticed that. Well, there's the roof guy. Uh, a gentleman is here to patch up the roof, fix the roof. I think it's something with the solar. Oh, okay. But look, there's like a plastic doggy out there. <laughs> so we're out at 849. I am starving, so we just decided to come out and eat. But I think the rest of the week we're planning on cooking. We need to go grocery shopping maybe. Maybe after this. Oh, no, you won't have time. You have that 3 o'clock. Yeah, maybe when I get back. Okay. Yeah, we'll do some grocery shopping and just lounge about. We do have a few plans, which I'll share with you as they come up. But I think Butters, you know, she hasn't been around a lot of people like this. She's not a city dog. She's around a lot of other dogs often, but not this many people. So I, she, I don't think she knows what to do with herself. She's whining a lot. Every time people come up and they walk up these stairs, she follows them. She tries <laughs> to go up with them. 
me see if I can catch that on camera. I got to nap today a little bit while Julie worked out with her trainer. And now we're checking out her package from Simone Rocha. Oh, that's pretty. I like it, that pink is gonna look so good on you. Is it? <laughs> yes. It's a, it's a pretty pink. Yes. I'm not sure. I like that rose. It's like the bow. It's not like, it's not, it's not prissy. It's yeah. not prissy floral. Oh, I love the sleeves are pleated. Butters, do you want something from Simone Rocha? Be a little taffeta dress with some pearls. I like it. I like that the waist cinches. Look at it's got. Look how many pockets because it has these <laughs> pockets. We and love our pockets and the flat pockets. Yep, these pockets. So, obviously designed by a woman. Yeah, obviously. <laughs> I mean, I have pants. I have pants for it, so. You're gonna be like, zzz, 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 <laughs> walking around. <laughs> Wait, do the pants, the pants have the rose on mm -hmm. it too? They have the, you wanna see the pants? I'm sorry, do you have them here with you? Mm -hmm. Yeah. She also picked up this uh, handbag from Simone Rocha. This is what I was talking about. It has a bow, but it's not prissy, you know? And the pearls are on the big shoulder strap. Cute. Oh, cute. <laughs> mm -hmm. Is that too much, all of this? I mean, maybe, but, it's but yes. For, it's Pulse Rings. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> but yes. Mm -hmm. I just love the sound you're gonna make walking around and all of that, yeah. <laughs> it's gonna be annoying. <laughs> oh, okay, all right. I know, it's such a pretty jacket. It's so pretty, Auntie Julie. It's so pretty, Auntie Julie. Cutie. Cutie. So we did end up going grocery shopping because we're both trying to be good and not like lose our minds and eat out every meal. So we're making some chicken breast, my favorite, you guys know. Some chicken breast and we've got some broccoli. I did buy some, where is it? I did buy some sleepy time tea for later. You guys know how much I love my sleepy time. And that's it. Julia's tired, I'm tired because I did not sleep that much last night. I drove this morning. So we're gonna hit the sack probably right after we eat dinner. Are you gonna put the sauce on? Julie's gonna throw some Primal Kitchen barbecue sauce on her chicken. I like mine dry. Unsweetened classic dry like barbecue sauce. <laughs> dry like my soul. <laughs> dry, oh, I can go other places. <laughs> Let's not go there, okay? Let's not go there. Perimenopause has not been kind. We are gonna go to the Alice tomorrow morning. So yeah, definitely gonna bring you guys along for that. Good morning. I am enjoying my coffee here. I am doing a little bit of work. I actually had to update some update some software. So I thought I would take this little moment to catch up with you guys. Last night was great. We just, you know, made ourselves dinner and then went to bed. I couldn't ask for, <laughs> ask for a better evening. Butters has been on high alert since we got here. I can't really blame her. It's a different environment. But she probably woke up four or five times last night, you know, kind of jumped off the bed barking or whatever. Thankfully, she didn't wake up Julie, but um, I kind of had a bit of interrupted sleep last night, but that's okay. Butters, come here, baby. I think there's a, a landscaper outside, so now she's like, who's that guy? Anyway, I'm gonna do some work and then we're gonna go outlet shopping today. So the desert, de the Cabazon outlets, that's what we always call them, but the official name is, oh my God, Desert Palm? It's either Desert Palm or Desert Springs premium outlets. They're actually, I feel like they're like this mirror image of the Woodbury Commons outlets. They have pretty much all the same 
um, all the same stores. Not the same restaurants, but all the same stores. So I'm excited to go. I usually find some, some fun stuff. I think the last time I was here and we went outlet shopping, I got that gray hoodie from Prada. And I got those Miu Miu, those gold um, pumps, which I, have, <laughs> I haven't worn, but I do still really enjoy. They're really beautiful to look at. What else did I get here last time? Anyway, I'm hoping for some good finds. So I'm gonna get back to work. We're gonna leave probably in about, um, what time is it? An hour and a half. So yeah, I'll take you guys along, of course. Hi, you okay, baby? You seem very tense. Oh, I know. I know. Well, you got your... Okay. <laughs> you got your breakfast. We did a little walkies. We played outside by the pool. Hmm? Well, maybe you'll sleep when we go to the outlets. We won't be taking her to the outlets because I think it'll just... It'll just be kind of a, dis <laughs> a disaster. I don't think she's allowed in the stores. Whatever. But that'll give her a few hours to just sleep, huh? I don't think you've slept since you got here, really. All right, all ready for the outlets. I'm wearing my Prada cropped jacket. I still love this so much. I have a t-shirt on underneath. This is the only uh, t-shirt, non-workout t-shirt I brought. It's a lot longer than I thought. I I didn't realize there was gonna be such a difference between the bottom of the jacket and the t-shirt, and I don't feel like tucking it in because I don't know, it doesn't look quite right because I've got my rag and bone sweatpants. I don't know. I think with the elastic waist on top, it looks a little, a little silly. I don't know, I'll play around with it. Um, rag and bone jeans, my Celine sneakers, and I just have my hair tied back because it's wet and I can't be bothered, but that's it. Okay, I changed my outfit because I didn't like my t-shirt sticking out, it was too long. And then when I tucked it into the rag and bone, it looked kind of silly because you know, they have the, <laughs> the elastic band and like the the fake front or whatever. So I put on my Lueve jeans and now I, I don't know. I don't know if I like this. Whatever, I don't know why I'm overthinking this. I'm comfortable, so I guess that's what matters. Are you gonna be here? Are you gonna be good here by yourself, baby? Hmm? I know you're tired, I'm just gonna sleep. Okay, totally unplanned, but Julie and I are really prodded out today. We have to show them your skirt. Look how cute that is. I love it. <laughs> you actually don't even need your bag. I really don't need the bag, do I? But it matches the sunglasses. Uh, yeah. Yeah. No, we need it. We need it. <laughs> I probably don't need to pack the bag this full. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> okay, we are off to the outlets. Prada first, of course. <laughs> course. We love the sweatshirt. We don't like the shorts, right? Mm -hmm. They're cute, but look they're how they are super far down. I think I just... Are they too big? To, it's just how they fit. Okay. Okay, first try on is this Miu Miu. Uh, still like a really interesting and it's lined anyway I think it's too small it's like it's not that it's not that comfy <laughs> I think it's too small what is this material it's almost like um what am I trying to think of almost like a <laughs> like if you were get a, a skirt suit it's like this material of course I had to try the leopard print puffer but this also is a little snug it's a little snug in the shoulder <laughs> what do you think it is yeah it's fine because I'm wearing a t-shirt underneath, but if I wore a sweater, which you probably would when yeah, you're wearing a puffer, yeah, it's yeah. too. It's too pretty hot tight. though. <laughs> like I like I yeah. have always a huge animal print. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, hold on, I have to zip her up. <laughs> okay. That's so cute. It is. I love the origami flowers. You're wearing this little like bralette top and I've got a puffer. <laughs> it's actually cute with those shorts. Mm -hmm. Okay, this Mimi top is way too big. 
way too big and they only had one size down, I think I need to go down two or three sizes. So this one's a no-go, but I really like it with the black. Can you see with the black lace here? Oh well, basic black sweater. I love it. I'm gonna wear this all the time. And it's kind of awesome. There's no, there's no logoing anywhere. Not on the back or anything, which is kind of nice. Kind of nice. Another basic sweater, but gray and the, <coughs> The yarn is finer. It's a little bit finer than the black one. Sorry, my dear. Here it is. Ah, thank you. Okay, here's the size bigger. And I'm actually trying it on over that sweater. And it's cute. I don't know if I need a leopard puffer, but this one does fit. Yeah, this one has like a little bit more room. Okay, I'm gonna think on this one. The Miu Miu sneakers, these are okay. They're little, they're definitely like, they're like court shoes, they're hard. Okay, I've entered my bucket hat phase. <laughs> I just got the Dior one, and then they had this puffy one here with this really fun print. I love it, I think I'm gonna have to get this. It's the right size too. Cute, anyway, they're trying to find a smaller size of this dress for me. So flattering with my Socks, no? Okay, here is the smallest size of this dress. I really like it. <laughs> I do. It's just super simple and straight. I'm actually trying to decide if the white is really see-through. I think it is. I think you can see my underwear through it. Dressed for dinner, I just threw on my LV sweater. I've got my Rag and Bone sweatpants back on. I've got my Chanel Shearling dad sandals on. And I'm just realizing that I haven't vlogged with you guys since we got back from the outlets. I'm gonna do a haul when I get home, but I got some good stuff, you guys. I'm really excited with what I got. I got a couple things from Prada. I got something really cool from Lueve and something super cool from Celine. Julie's wondering if she should change. She has a really cute Tom Brown outfit on. I think it's cute. I no? I get his shoes, so okay. I'm not wearing these. Your Burks? I'm okay. not wearing plastic Burke pool shoes. Okay, Butters, are you hungry for dinner? <gasps> Is it dinner time for little baby? Can you guys see that? I got like a couple bug bites on my forehead. Doesn't that suck? And I was just scratching my neck. Maybe I got a little bite. Did I get a little bite there too? Oh man. Well, I was just about to put on some makeup and I saw these and I was like, you know what, maybe I'll just let my skin kind of breathe a little bit. We're just going to dinner. Hopefully the lighting is dim. All right, we are hitting Alice B for dinner tonight. I'm so, so excited. The menu looks amazing. One of the chefs or one of the people behind this restaurant uh, is also behind Border Grill in Vegas, a very, well-established female in the culinary arts. So anyway, and I think her partner is involved in this business as well. So very excited, very excited to try it. I will definitely be vlogging our dishes and all of that. Yeah, it's very chilly here when the sun goes down. I'm deciding whether or not I need to put on my puffer vest on top of this, probably not. Butters, are you done with dinner? You done with dinner, baby? Oh, you wanna play? This is not her bone. I have no idea where she found it, but it's her new favorite toy. Isn't it? at all today i'm sorry guys well i guess we haven't julie's had a much more active day. as you can tell yeah. <laughs> i haven't really
really been out. I've just been fussing with butters. She was very itchy. I think she had an allergic reaction to something this morning. So I just kind of hung out with her. Anyway, we are at the spa, the Agua Caliente Spa, or the... It's a sec... I don't know how to pronounce sec it. Sec... 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 Okay, I'll, I'll link it down below. We're getting completely different treatments, but uh, we timed it together, obviously. Um, as close as we could. Yes. I'm gonna work out a little bit and then get a massage. And Julie, I believe you're doing a mineral soak and then a facial? Yes. So we'll give you our report when we're done. We've heard good things. All good things. All good things. This is, this spa is like, it, it's actually like on the Palm Spring. It's on the original, the Springs of Palm Springs. <laughs> so like magical waters, apparently. Yes. Yeah, so that's it. And then afterwards, we're gonna go to a street fair. We're gonna just pop out. The street fair is actually gonna be on the street behind us. So we're gonna do that and that's our, that's our evening. Excuse my look, glow. Look, look, someone's glowing. <laughs> Julie got a facial. Look at that. Look at that. 20 years younger, at least. You're like 18 I'm a baby. now. You're 18 <laughs> now. Um, I got my massage and then we both did these mineral soaks. I, can we talk about the massage tables? We can talk about the tables. I could talk about the tables for a while. They were the most intense tables ever. They were, of course, adjustable. They were heated, right? That, those, that's pretty basic. Mine was a water bed. I don't think mine was a water bed. We both had LED mats. Yes. And you could feel like the vibrations. Yes. And the face mask on mine was a cooling gel, <gasps> Ooh. which so nice. When you were face down. Yeah. It was cool. It was cool. It was cool. Me too, because usually it, those pillows really bother me and I come up and my eyes are swollen, they're dried out because my contacts or whatever, my eyes are kind of like pulled open. But that cooling gel, it was wonderful. It was great, it was great. Highly recommend yeah. this spa. Yeah. They're screaming. Well, well that's the okay. street fair. Oh, okay. <laughs> We're going to the street We're fair. We're going from peace and quiet and zen. <laughs> Serenity. <laughs> right to a crazy Chaos. street fair. Okay. <laughs> I am hungry, so okay. yeah, I'm excited. Oh, and they give you these refillable path water bottles. Here's the, the spa. So nice. <laughs> both of us, and we got one chicken and one LaRocco, La which has like edible flowers, so. something like that in there. It's a vegetarian one, but the gentleman that was checking us out, not checking us out. Oh yeah. Che I mean, checking us out. He was checking us out. <laughs> ringing us up, that's better. He was ringing us up. <laughs> he recommended that one because he's a vegetarian, so anyway. Uh, we thought we'd go onesies. How is it? I mean, it's good. It's good? It looks good. Okay. Hello, everyone. I am on the road back to Vegas. I hit the road really early because I didn't want to hit any traffic because traffic between LA and Vegas is pretty, <laughs> can be pretty intense. So anyway, Julie is, is here with us because, um, like I mentioned, we're actually going to go see Kylie Minogue tomorrow. So she's here for the weekend, which she had planned already. So anyway, everything worked out. She's in Eddie World right now. 
experiencing Eddie World for the first time. Have you guys ever, have you guys ever been to Eddie World? I'm so, sorry, I got distracted. I'm at the Tesla chargers and there's a lot of driving and backing in and getting the right spot. So anyway, we're about halfway home now. Butters, it, <laughs> she's been a doll because she's been able to sit in um, Auntie Julie's lap the whole time, but I think she's gonna sleep for days because she hasn't really slept that well in, in Palm Springs, of course, it's a new environment. And she's like nodding off here, but it's like, she she's like a kid. Like she just won't let herself just go to sleep. She just keeps like waking herself up. Um, wow, I look crazy. I literally did a bed roll. I woke up, made myself breakfast, like threw all my stuff in bags, threw it all in the car. Julie packed uh, last night and we just rolled it all into the car and took off. So wow, I look I look a little haggard. Anyway, I'm waiting for Julie to come out and then I'm going to go into Eddie World and try not to buy <laughs> the pounds of candy and fruit in there. I'm going to I'm going to bring you guys in there with me cuz I'm not sure I've ever vlogged inside Eddie World, have I? I don't think maybe. Maybe. Maybe not. Anyway, uh yeah, I'm going to wait for her to come out and then I'll bring you guys in there with me. Okay, I'm inside Eddie World. I just had to use the the restroom and just wanted to show you show you inside. Are you so happy to be in Auntie Julie's lap? <laughs> it's just so funny because it does feel like she puts pressure on your chest. She leans, yeah. She likes to lean into people and couch arms. You'll okay. have more time. We'll have more time together. Aww.